Hello everybody, the Wood Baron's back once again with another video. And I was at a card game last night when I got a call from none other than Miss Jan Hale. And she said that she had found some more stuff. She just wanted to get rid of it. And could I meet her at Hardy's, which would be today, which would be Monday, at 2 o'clock. So I definitely went ahead and did that after I went how much shoulder looked at and all that stuff. Ended up going and meeting her. And we got two bags of stuff. That's a pretty big bag here, pretty hefty. And this other bag here. So I guess we'll dip right into this one first. Digging in here. So here we got like some power supplies. Uh, let's see, I'll just open that one up and show you guys. Here. First party NES controller. We got a uh, Farm Fresh. Super Nintendo controller, but it's first party. Let's see here, what else we got? What is this? Some kind of phone charger. Not really sure what that's for. And, dang, this stuff's all tangled up. Let's see. Another uh, first party Super Nintendo controller. What's that? Oh, cool. I just kind of looked in there briefly. To, you know, kind of see what was going on. But then we have a first party dog bone controller. And I think I can get, hopefully I can get this yellowed look off these this controller and these other two. Maybe, I hope so. And then a first party power supply. We still got a lot of stuff in these bags, guys. So just bear with me. I'm going to roll these cords back up. And I guess I just... For now, I guess I'll just stick it back in that bag. So not bad out of that little bag. I mean, we got some first party controllers. We got a dog bone controller. For the original NES. So pretty cool. Out of that first bag of stuff there. Let's see what else we got in here. We got a uh, really yellowed NES. But pro that'll probably clean up pretty well. I'll just take uh, maybe some alcohol and clean that yellowy look off of it. And be careful to stay away from this part. Because it will wipe it off there. And secondly, we got another NES. This one's in a lot better condition than that one. Looks like there's a crack there on the back. I've still got to test these out, guys. So I don't even know if they work yet. Let's see if anything's in there. Nothing. And this one here is nothing. And it's got some cracks here on the corners and the front. But who knows? You know, it's two NESs, so not bad. And then this right here is really cool to get this. I've been looking for one of these for a long time. It is super yellowed, but we got a top loader NES. So really glad to get a host of that one. And ho I'm hoping that this yellow, yellow look, I can get that off there. Probably not, but I'm going to give it a good try anyways. i test these out and see if they do work. So a top loader. Really awesome, man. I've been looking for one of those for a while now. And that's it for that bag. And then the second bag. Let's see what we got here. There was one really awesome thing in here, guys. Super awesome. And we'll just go through what we got here, though. And get them out of here. Stop dropping everything. So, there that is. This are, are a bunch of books. I'm not sure the value on any of this, so. First one we got here is uh, Secrets of the Game Series. Super Mario World secrets so you can see right there super mario bros 4 for the super nintendo or the yeah super nintendo entertainment system oh this is a uh, okay super mario world yoshi's uh island no not yoshi's island just super mario world it's really cool 
to get that. Then, next thing we got here is Compute's Guide to Nintendo Games. So really cool, guys. And uh, see, this looks like $9.95 for this game. But it's like a strategy guide, hints, tips, and tricks, and all that stuff to, you know, the different systems or whatnot. There's a Famicom there. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Tetris. Just a bunch of tips and tricks for various games. This is really cool to get that one. Then yeah, let's see what this is. Looks like some more cheat codes or whatnot right there. And then I'm glad to get this because I actually have this game. Is uh, Exodus Ultima Hint Book. It's really cool to get that. I'll show you guys a few pages here in the book. Pretty cool art there. So, yeah. There that is. And the next one we got here is Nintendo Strategies How to Win at All These Different Various Games here. You can see are in this manual. Tell you how to be good at Nintendo. So base is loaded there, Bionic Commando, Bubble Bobble, uh, Bump and Jump, just, you know, Double Dragon there, just several different games in here that it tells you a few ways, or helps you to cheat, <laughs> which I don't do that. And then we have uh, Final Fantasy 3 Nintendo's Player Guide. Really cool, man. Check that out. Really cool. Nice condition on these manuals as well. For as old as they are, so. You guys can see all that. Really cool stuff, guys. Oh, cool. Oh, I'm trying to drop stuff everywhere. Here. Set these down here. Then we got the strategy guide for Chrono Trigger. So really cool to get that one. I'm not sure how rare this is, but I do have the game. So it's nice to have the manual to go along, or the strategy guide to go along with it. So that's really awesome stuff. Then the last manual we have here is Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, Quest Strategy Guide. That's some cool, we'll just show you a few pages here on that one as well. Pretty cool stuff in these manuals. I remember you, you know, sitting and looking at stuff like this when I couldn't play the game. And I'd, I'd, I'd actually like sit down with one of these and draw a picture out of it. It was really fun back then. Then we got these here. I don't know that much about this. Looks like a PlayStation 1 VHS tape here. Collector's video, it says. That one there has been opened. This one here is actually factory sealed, which is pretty damn cool. I don't know if you guys, you guys can see that, the seam or whatnot. But this one here has never been opened, so it's really cool. VHS, that looks this funny. You can see there. And this little card came with it. Save five bucks. So really neat, man. Didn't expect that. And see, the last thing we got here was the most awesome thing, which all oh, this was pretty damn cool. And I really was glad to get that top loader. I did not have that. But this, I could not believe it. And if you watch my other videos, I talked about that she thought this game had actually got thrown away. It did not. And that is Earthbound, the big box. Really cool, guys, to actually find this game out in the wild. I could not believe it. My heart was, like, flying right now. But... Go ahead and open this up and see if it is complete. I just looked in there to make sure the game was in there. So, let's see here. There's the game still in this little bag. And I'll pull this up and show you guys what it looks like. Really nice copy of Earthbound, guys. Really nice copy. Look at that. Not a scratch on this cart. 
really clean and it comes with a little protective dust sleeve so that's cool and this little baggie so I'll just put this back in here and see what else we got in here I know there's a bunch of stuff that comes with this game but I'm not for sure about all of it and this is giving me trouble trying to get it back in here so there we go we got that back Let's see here what we got in here. I'm pretty sure it's not complete because there's a bunch of stuff that comes with this this game. But okay, what do we got here? Looks like a Metroid poster or some kind of poster like that. Let's see. If I can get this to open up. It's like wadded up, sort of. But Star Fox on that side, and then Donkey Kong, and Metroid, and various other games on this side. So I'm assuming that this was, you know, supposed to be in here. Then we have some kind of, I'm not really sure. This talks about maintenance and all that stuff, probably for the Super Nintendo, or the cart. Let's see what else we got here. That appears to be it in the box. Other than the player's guide for Earthbound. So, really cool to get that, man. Really nice condition on this manual. I know there's supposed to be like some stickers and some other stuff in here, so this game is not complete. But it does still have these in the manual. So cool. Not sure how many of those were supposed to be in there or whatnot like that, but nonetheless, there is a partially complete copy of Earthbound. First time on the channel to find a big, big heavy hitter. Something like this is ridiculous. Never thought in a million years I would find this game. Which is awesome. Awesome, guys. It's absolutely awesome. To find stuff like this. This is a legendary find. I think that's what I end up naming the video. Legendary find. So we'll get this back in here and we'll move on. We got a, actually got a package too. From Rebel Gaming Club. That's a catchy tune. Let's slide this back in here. I'm sorry if this is taking long, guys, and I'm just in shock right now. Gotta put this back in here without damaging anything. These old boxes can be kind of tough. So there we go. We got her back in there. Earthbound. Freaking awesome, guys. Freaking awesome. Okay, so we'll just move on to the package here. We're doing a trade deal with Dano from Rebel Gaming Club. So if you guys want to see what he got in the trade, definitely look on his channel. And uh, hopefully he'll do an unboxing. And you guys can see what we traded. I traded him for. And let me get this out of here. Damn, this really ended. Alrighty then. Oh, cool, man. Check it out, guys. We actually got the uh, the card from Rebel Gaming Club. And awesome, dude. A free CD. Thank you very much, Dan. I really appreciate it, brother. Really cool. If you guys don't know who he is, Rebel Gaming Club. Go check him out. Those guys, do, or they got a funny wrestling thing going on. It's just a really cool, unique channel. But uh, here's what we traded for Batman. I know I did not have this one for my collection. So uh, we definitely done a good trade with that. And definitely go check that out on his channel. So, all right, guys, I hope you liked the video. I'm super excited right now that I was able to find Earthbound. It's absolutely ridiculous. And for the lot, I ended up paying $200 for the whole lot. And, you know, that's what she was kind of asking. She actually said 125 and then she come back with 200 and I just went ahead and, you know, done that because 
she said she had one more game. I didn't know what it was, but she mentioned she had a bunch of systems and all this stuff, and that's what we did. 200 bucks. So it's definitely worth that, guys. So from the Woodbury and Retro Game Hunter, thanks for watching, guys. Big thumbs up. Big thumbs up. Big thumbs up to all of you guys. I really do appreciate it and all the new su support for the channel. Thank you very much, guys. And I will see you guys in the next one. And as always, yeah. Dan and Dan and Red Bull Gaming Club. Check them out. See you guys.